Hey guys, back with another isopod video. Can't believe I just did that. But um, I just got some Panda King isopods. Uh, they're the same genus as the rubber ducky isopods, so they look just as cute. Uh, let me show you what they look like. I just picked these up at my local pet store. They were six for $60. I'm gonna get them out of the sun now. They're probably miserable. So I thought I would show how I set up my enclosure. Um, this is a 12 by six and a half Sterlite container. Um, I know that these guys normally enjoy a much bigger enclosure, but I figured since there's only six of them, I would start smaller. I drilled in holes along the sides so that there's some airflow. I know they like high humidity, so this will keep the humidity in. Just some supplies. This is basically the same thing as the um, rubber ducky isopod video, but clickbait for whoever is into uh, Panda King isopods. You can just watch this video instead. So I'm going to use Eco Earth as my main substrate. Um, I got a 24 quart bag for $10 at PetSmart on sale. Uh, most of their food source comes from leaf litter. I got this from the bio dude. You don't have to spend that much money on um, the leaf litter. I know that you can go out into the woods and bake, uh, bake the leaves that you find, but I'm always afraid to do that. I don't really have any woods near me on Long Island, so I just buy them in bulk. Uh, we also have sphagnum moss to keep up the humidity in the enclosure. So again, I got this from the bio dude. Um, we have some garden lime, which is limestone to simulate the isopods natural environment in caves So it's um, Basically calcium carbonate or limestone you mix that in with the substrate I use Reptisafe um, drops in my water to use as a conditioner um, And you'll see I'll use it when I mix up some of the substrate uh, spray bottles. And this is the food that I use. My zebra ice pods go nuts for it. It's the Rapashi Bug Burger. I also have a little container of springtails that my local shop was very nice and gave me for free after I bought the Panda King isopods. So I'm going to pour some of these into the enclosure as well. Probably should have gotten gloves for those, but we're going to see how this works out. So we'll start with the Eco Earth at the bottom. Oh, also, I got these for free at my local pet store. The guy was really nice and threw this in. They only had giant cork bark, but I said, will you break me off a couple pieces? So he said, you can have these. So let me move some stuff. We'll start with the Eco Earth. Pour a whole bunch in. Going to pour in some of my Reptisafe conditioned water. It's in my spray bottle. And mix it up. This is the best part, getting all dirty. You want the um, substrate to be moist. I hate that word but not wet. All right, I think that's good. Probably again, should have worn gloves, but that's okay. Gonna open up the garden lime. Pour some of that in. Honestly, I have no idea how much to put in, so we're just going for it. Looks good to me. Gonna mix that in also. And 
We're gonna pour a little on top for good luck. Sure. All right, next comes the sphagnum moss. Um, I'm going to put, I probably should have soaked this first. Let's take a pause and I'm gonna soak it. All right, so I got my soak through sphagnum moss. This is gonna hold the humidity in the enclosure. So, oh, there's a leaf. So I'm going to put about, cover about one third of the substrate in sphagnum moss. And what I like to do is I'll just spray. Ah, I like to I like to spray um, that pretty much continuously every day so that it holds the humidity. I think that looks good. That looks more like one half, but we're gonna go with it. Next, I'm gonna add the leaf litter. This is good for, oh man, good for hiding spots and also good for food. Okay, I took a pause because I realized after I put in all this leaf litter that I never put the springtails in. So we are going to do that now. I'm putting on my glove because they really gross me out, but they are important to keep the mold away. So, sorry for that horrible sound. These guys are so gross. Okay, I'm not gonna dump them all in, but we are going to just, That should be good. Oh, they are hopping, okay. Actually, I forgot to put isopods in my uh, rubber ducky enclosure. That's why I bought these. So I'm going to um, put those in. All right, we're gonna mix those around. Perfect. So those are in there. I might add a little more leaf litter now. Well, poop. There was a branch. Okay, now that they're all over my back patio. Okay, what's next? I think that's good. So what I'm gonna do is take off my glove, throw it out because it is super gross with spring towels on it. Going to add in my cork bark. Boom, boom. And add the little fellas in. Actually, before I put them in, I'm gonna add a little food. What I like to do is put it on, I take a pinch of the rapashi. I know you're supposed to, when you have such a small enclosure, um, which leaf should I put it on? Hmm, maybe this guy. You're only supposed to put a little tiny amount to see if they actually eat it. That's probably too much, but we'll see what happens. Let me give it one last, everything one last spritz before I put them in. Again, this is with my conditioned um, rep to save water. All right, let's add them. Oh, those are springtails. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here they go. Oh, that one's a little roly poly. All right, I'm gonna do my famous dump ski. Gone forever. All right, here we go, they're crawling out. All right, so I will update you guys on how they're doing, if they reproduce, and, oh, there's one over here. I don't know how we ended up over there, in the corner. watching my video.